Good morning. My name is Chris Reed, and this morning I'd like to do a video message about what is pursuing the cross and who am I, Chris Reed. So let's start out with what is pursuing the cross. Uh, pursuing the cross is a ministry that I founded in January of 2000 or, or 2020. Um, it's a ministry with a mission to wrestle with the questions of faith and being an adult child of God in 2020. <laughs> uh, pursuing the cross is not affiliated with any church. Um, just the opposite, actually. Uh, don't think of church as a location. Think of church as the people. The people are the body of Christ and make up the church. So you should find church everywhere. And Pursuing the Cross is an online ministry with a goal to deliver content that is relevant to adult believers in Christ. So, that's, that's who uh, Pursuing the Cross, or what Pursuing the Cross is. So, who is Chris Reed, a.k.a. Captain Selfie? Well, first off, um, I'm a longtime resident of Indianapolis. I love to make new friends wherever I go and make people laugh. Um, I've never met a stranger and I always love finding out what makes people unique and what their passion for life is. Um, I came to Christ at, at 36, I'm 51 now, um, uh, through the Alpha program that was hosted at Northview Church in Carmel, uh, Indiana. I didn't grow up with any family uh, dogma, we didn't go to church. Uh, growing up, uh, once in a while at Christmas or Easter uh, with my grandparents. Um, but without that knowledge of God, I quickly re recognized his presence in my life after a unique conversion moment um, that I'll talk about in a second. Um, let me talk about it. Just uh, uh, with Alpha, the idea is... Um, that you come and you in community and you um, eat a meal and then you watch a video message uh, for the week uh, with a central theme and then you get into a small group and you talk about it and after several weeks of learning about God I came to the conclusion that the being as I like to call it call God um, did created the entire universe just so that he could have a relationship with me. I mean, and Jesus died on the cross for my sins so that I could let go of the shame of yesterday uh, and those hurts and mistakes so that I could live life and love today and create new things. And I tell you what, for me, that was a pivotal moment in my life. Um, I, I became on fire to learn about God. And so I read the Bible cover to cover about five times in those first three years. Um, did numerous uh, books, uh, read numerous books, sorry, uh, from authors like C.S. Lewis, Max Lucado, Francis Chan, Lee Strobel, James McDonald, Billy Graham, Chuck Rob Bell, Chuck Swindle, Joyce Myers, John Eldridge, Tony Evans, and a few others that sit on my shelf. Um, through Northview Church, I attended Bible studies classes and seminars to learn all that I could about Lord about the Lord. Um, one of the things that I took uh, was called a shape test. Uh, if you haven't ever heard of a shape test, have you? Maybe you've heard of a disc test. Um, to uh, uh, tell your personality. Um, SHAPE is an acronym and it stands for, okay, it stands for uh, spiritual gifts, heart, uh, ap aptitude, passion, and experience. And the idea with a SHAPE test is that it helps you understand the gifts that God has given you um, so that you can plug into ministries that make the most sense for you. For example, um, I thrive in greeters ministry. 
I love meeting new people. So that's a great place for me because um, through the process of that, I'm actually fed. My spirit is uh, made full through that. But you wouldn't want to put me in the children's ministry, you know, because um, there's going to be some tears <laughs> probably on my end, maybe some dis. Uh, frustrated parents uh, because their kids aren't happy. That's not my passion. So if you'd like to learn more uh, about uh, taking your own shape test, you can go to freeshapetest.com. Again, freeshapetest.com. My uh, number one gift was leadership. Number two was hospitality. And number three was faith. And, um, and of course, there's many other gifts that you can be given. Um, and it can change from time to time. So you can actually take it, you know, say every five years or so, and just to check, see where, where you're at. Because God can do amazing things in your life. So I believe that we are all children of God. And that each of us are struggling with our own unique battle. Some with addictions, abuse, childhood, trauma, failures, and successes. Further believe that we're all loved by God exactly as we are today. And, and the most important thing is that all sin is equal at the foot of the cross. And if that's true, then each one of us is equal in the eyes of God. Now, through my day job, I like to help people uh, create innovative updates to their homes uh, through my company, Creed Improvements. Um, if you'd like to learn more about Creed Improvements, you go to creedimprovements.com. Um, for over seven years also, uh, I've hosted with the help of some friends an Indianapolis-based networking event series called Sparks. Um, if, you're, if you're wondering what Sparks is, you can think about TED Talks, uh, short, inspirational, motivational, life lessons learned, those kind of talks merged with good food and beverages and uh, networking are great people. Um, you can learn more about about uh, Sparks at sparkstalk.com. Um, gosh, and if that wasn't enough, um, I founded a I founded a nonprofit that we're just getting started. The name of my nonprofit is Rescue Repair. When you think of Rescue Repair, I want you to think of Make a Wish, but for homeowners that could really use a break. Think of uh, single parents, widows, uh, or senior citizens, uh, all homeowners uh, that might be living paycheck to paycheck or on a tight budget, and they could really just use a little help. And we're going to raise money. We raise money to cover the cost of materials, and then we bless uh, the homeowner with a rescue repair package that might... Uh, also include, like, say, a deep cleaning of a kitchen, uh, maybe their carpets cleaned, uh, and even more from vendors and suppliers that are partnering with Rescue Repair to bless families right here uh, in central Indiana. And if you feel led to donate, you can visit the res rescuerepair.org and click on the donate button. Now, lastly, you might ask yourself, what the heck is Captain Selfie anyways, right? Well, Captain Selfie is a, is a self-imposed nickname, so to speak, that stuck after a joke. A joke that was made uh, about selfies being the end of our civilization as we know it. My response was, uh, I, my selfies are better than military grade or professional grade. They're military grade, so you can call me Captain Selfie. Um, the nickname stuck because I'm always posting selfies on Facebook. I've created on Facebook a life photo album of memories with friends. Um, if you'd like to follow me along, you can go to CaptainSelfie.com uh, <clears throat> and also find us uh, find the captain on uh, uh, my Facebook page. So that's a little bit about who we are. Uh, who I am, I'm sorry, and what uh, um, um, Pursuing the Cross is about. Um, <clears throat> weekly, I'm going to prepare a message that will be about 30 minutes in length. And it will give you an opportunity, hopefully, to learn a little bit um, about 
about uh, the Lord, about uh, questions of life. And I'm going to jump, I'm going to try to jump here uh, into um, another thing that I like to do here. Let's see if I can do this quick, quick, because I should have, I should have had this better prepared. Where is my mouse? There it is. All right. We're going to go like that. Uh, it's not doing it. Wait. So what I was going to say was, I'm going to try to do this. I'm not sure I'm going to do this very well, kids. I should have, I should have been better prepared. I apologize. Um, there we go. There we go. Bear with me just a second. I apologize. Um, so when I started, the, I came up with this idea about, um, about pursuing the cross. Uh, God gave me the memory of a skit that sat, uh, Tracy Morgan did uh, in, in the 90s on Saturday Night Live. Um, you might not remember this, but it stuck out in my head when I thought about this. And so bear with me as I, as I, as I make this joke. But um, uh, the, the skit was called uh, Brian Fellows Safari Planet. Um, you might remember this, you might not. Um, but when this graphic came across the screen and it said, Brian Fellows Safari Planet, Brian Fellows Safari Planet, this voiceover actor, uh, would read the following statement. Uh, Brian Fellows is not an accredited zoologist, nor does he hold any advanced degrees in any environmental sciences. He is simply an enthusiastic young man with a sixth grade education and an abiding love for all of God's creatures. And why, why, Chris, did that stick in your head? Because kids, I really want you to understand that I need the exact same voiceover for pursuing the cross. So in that vein, let me read, Chris Reed has not been to seminary. He does not hold any theological degrees. But thanks to the internet guys at the Universal Life Church, he is an ordained pastor, um, and he's a man with a heart for God who is on fire to help adult children of God who wrestle with life in 2020. So that's my disclaimer, kids. Um, if, you, if you'd like to follow along, um, don't expect perfection. Expect to hear from someone who loves God, who understands him, and has a deep personal knowledge of God. And I'd like to share my experience with you along this journey and we grow together as we grow closer to God. That's all that I can ask for um, through pursuing the cross. And if you're expecting more than that, well, you'll probably be disappointed. But I hope that you'll hang out with us and, um, and uh and check out our messages each week. Invite your friends to come back and join us uh, as well. Um, again, it's live on Sundays, um, but it doesn't matter, it'll replay. And in the comments section of each video, you will find uh, links uh, that are mentioned during uh, the broadcast, so you can click on them, uh, as well as um, uh, the YouTube video channel um, and, and its links. So if you need to share it with someone that's not on Facebook, uh, you can do that. So I hope you have a great day and thanks for tuning in. And our live uh, weekly message is at 11 a.m. on Sunday mornings. Thanks, guys.